my head, I I did everything right. When I went outside, I sanitized stuff. I sanitized the car. I wore my mask. I wore this. So you're on a page, your girl, the visit. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shade. If you're new here, if you're old but a goodie, welcome back. So today I'm talking about a video that I never, ever, 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 ever thought I would be talking about on my channel as it relates to like me personally being infected or be witness this thing. But here we are. I think a lot of times um, we think that we are invincible and we, you know, certain things are not going to phase us and we are taking precautions and you know, because of something that people don't know, like how we contract it is very hard, even though we take all these precautions. Oh guys, here we are. So yes, you read the title correctly. Your girl was evicted. Your wrong on a page, your girl, the visit. So let me start. I'm just going to talk about my experience, the symptoms that I experienced and just like recovery wise, as you can see, I feel a lot better. So I'm here making this video. So it all started about a week ago. About a week ago. It all started a week ago, y'all like let me get the exact dates for y'all so y'all can understand i know for me dates help so i'm gonna like go ahead on my calendar right now so it all started march 26 um i'm sorry with the 25th so the 25th i woke up i was feeling great um i cooked i remember i cooked fish because i went to the jamaican store and i got some fish steamed some fish ate it it was popping i made two fish so um i ate one that day and i woke up the next day and i was like i'm gonna eat that fish so i woke up and i woke up with like this excruciating pain in my back and i was just like what is going on it was just like oh this feels weird but i was still like you know being strong pushing through it because it was saturday morning you know i wake up i do my chores and all that so i'm like hmm i don't know so i went downstairs and my mom was like i don't feel good i can't smell or taste nothing and then it hit me because w waking up i wasn't thinking about what i could smell i didn't eat anything yet so i wasn't thinking about if i could taste anything so i was like can't smell anything but i was like wait don't scare don't you know when you hear something your mind trying to like oh you can't smell either chick so no so i pulled for something strong that like vanilla and i smelled it and i couldn't smell it and i was like okay so um i made breakfast i made eggs while making the eggs and everything i noticed i couldn't smell it either but i was like you know i was still pushing through because i was like and mind you at this point we didn't know what it was we were just like oh we're sick or something so um i made the eggs and stuff couldn't taste it and at that point i was just still just still like i'm telling you still like okay we got the cold or something but friday i was coughing i was coughing a lot coughing 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 and then my friend was like mm, dry cough da, da, da. i was like ain't no dry cough sis like i'm regular coughing what are you talking about so i was just coughing and stuff and i was just, my, even my mom was like girl how you why are you coughing that much and i was like i don't know but to me it didn't feel it felt like a dry cough but it was nothing crazy and like when i heard people say they got the rona it's like, oh, you don't know if you got the runner. So I was like, uh-uh, it ain't the runner because it ain't bad. So I was like, all right, cool, push through it. Saturday morning, I lost my my taste and my smell. And then, um, yeah, so that was Saturday. And my back was still hurting, but like throbbing, you know, and it wasn't really getting any better but i remember i got tired like after i ate i got really tired and i came back upstairs and i hit the bed and i was out like for most of the day i was knocked out and i woke up and i called my friend i was like yo i'm still feeling sick and she was like i'm feeling sick too da, da, da. so i'm like oh my gosh she was like go take some medicine take some medicine if you know me i don't like that get medicine like i like to push through before and then if it gets worst case scenario then i'll go take medicine so worst case scenario i went and i took some aleve and these aleve made you sleep even more so when i took the aleve i was knocked out again so saturday i basically slept for like 20 plus hours so then sunday came around woke up sunday morning i thought i was dead like i thought i was dying my back hurts hurt it so badly it was like the day before times 10 and at this point it hurt to like move it hurt to like walk everything just felt like a struggle and i didn't even take a, take a shower on sunday yeah nasty <laughs> like that's how real it was y'all everything felt like a task like breathing my breath was like and mind you it's still at this point i'm like i'm not thinking about the rona because i'm like like in my head i i did everything right when i went outside i sanitized stuff i sanitized the car i wore my mask i wore this so in my head i'm like there's no way i haven't been around anybody that i know that's affected and so in my head it's just like it's not it so 
I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm just sick. Um, Sunday is the same thing. I, I even took I took more medicine on Sunday though because it was worse, and I still couldn't smell or taste anything. I didn't have an appetite. I tried to like you know take garlic. You know they say to chop up the garlic. I try to take that. Try to eat some like fruits and like you know stay hydrated and all that. Sunday I was bed bound still. Like I told y'all, I didn't take a shower that day. I was just not feeling it i ate though because they're like telling you to eat telling you to eat not to eat to forcing you to eat Cause, but i i was getting upset because i'm like what's the point of eating when i can't smell or taste anything like it's no fun monday rolled around monday i felt a little bit better still coughing still pain everything still fatigued like when i say tired like i don't know what i felt like i just got off like a 50 hour shift and i was just sleeping and tired like my back hurt but monday i woke up and i was like you know what you're not about to be bed bound get up and i went downstairs in the couch and i was there and i got tired again fell asleep down there came upstairs so a lot of all basically the gist of all that is just i was just sleeping a lot i was just sleeping 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 and mind you at this time i'm still not thinking about the rona oh i forgot to mention I had this headache since Saturday till like Tuesday and this headache would not go away like I feel like I couldn't make any sudden movements like if I did that I felt like I was fainting or like I was gonna drop but like I felt real dizzy so like I had when I was moving I had to like move in like slow motion because if I move my head too fast it feels like everything inside my head is just blah, 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 just wobbly and it's making me like real confused so I was getting headaches in my eyes. I remember my eyes was burning and I remember saying like I had to like close my blinds and like you know cover my windows and stuff like that to help with the like the sunlight that was coming in because that was affecting me some. So that along with so it was the dry cough that that was like Friday Saturday and then it went away and then I developed my loss of smell and taste and then the headache came. So that, those were my symptoms. And then on Tuesday, my mom was like, you know, she's gonna get tested. Um, she called a couple places. They weren't trying to take her because we didn't have the, the fever. They were talking about the fever, the temperature. And I forgot to mention on Sunday night, I went to bed and I woke up and I was like drenched in sweat. But it was crazy because I was cold. Like physically, my body was cold. But then when I woke up in the middle of the night, I was drenched in like sweat. And I was just like, yeah, something's happening. But that was like in the night time. So when we woke up, my mom was like, she's going to get tested. She called a couple different places. Nobody was trying to take her because we didn't have the fever. So you know that's an issue if you're not showing signs of the fever they don't really want to like take you to test you they're just telling you to stay isolated and all that um my mom was determined because she works in the healthcare system um she was able to get an appointment i was not so i was gonna i was just basically saying oh, i'm gonna go over her results whatever it is because we're in the same house you know same symptoms and everything so I drove her to get tested on Tuesday by the will of God because I'm telling you that headache did not go away. I pushed through, I drove her, dropped her off, she got tested and she came back. And Wednesday I woke up, I felt a lot better than I I felt but I was still sick. Um, Thursday came around, still felt, you know, I was getting stronger by the day. I was getting stronger. Still can't smell or taste but the back pain went away. And then Thursday we were here and I wish I had recorded it but um, I didn't have my camera handy. handy and when you're sick you're not thinking about you know like recording and stuff like that but um my mom got the phone call with the results she tested positive for the rona and um so that's how we kind of find out that's how i'm saying that i have it she has it positive because we're in the same house same symptoms and everything i'm just saying that i have it as well so for everybody that's gonna ask did i get tested myself no i did not now i want to go test it but it's just the struggle of trying to get somebody to take you because you don't have the fever um so or kind of understand so i said i'm still i'm still gonna try to go get tested um even though i'm feeling a lot better but i said i might give it some more time to see if i can get better and then get tested to see if i'm a test negative now they don't know if it really leaves your body or not but i'm feeling totally different today is sunday today is sunday may today is sunday may 3rd so it's been a week and a day and i feel much better i started feeling better around like thursday friday like friday was the first day i woke up and i didn't have a headache 
so basically i would say friday now i still cannot till this day while i'm recording this video i still can't smell anything or taste anything and it, guys i think that's the worst part you never appreciate like smell and taste until it's taken away <laughs> and it, they people always say you never appreciate what you have until it's gone and that's facts like i've never thought about like oh i can't smell that or i can't taste this you know what i'm saying i'm eating right now i don't even have appetite i remember on friday I didn't eat Friday I was like I'm not gonna eat what's the point I lost my appetite I'm like what's the point of eating when I can't taste it so I was kind of like rebelling and then my body was like sis you better get up and eat because when I got up I felt so dizzy like I thought I was gonna faint and then my friend was like you need to go eat and then when I ate something I felt better so I'm like forcing myself to eat even though this morning though this morning I smelt like slightly like slightly slightly smell some chicken and then um I when I took a shower earlier I smelled like the shower gel like for the first like five seconds and then it went away so I still haven't developed my I still haven't gotten back my sense of smell and taste just yet but I'm feeling as far as like physical pain I'm feeling so much better i'm not coughing as much the only reason i cough now is because the medicine i'm taking is just like it gets the cold out of you so um but yeah i'm feeling so much better but as far as like treatment what i've been taking and doing all that to feel better nyquil i legit take it um every night to help me sleep um and like sleep when i say sleep i mean like hassle free like nyquil be knocking me out like when I don't take the night wheel, I notice like I'll get up at night. I'm like fussy when I'm sleeping. But when I take the night wheel, I sleep right through the night. I take the Aleve PM as well. It helps with pain, congestion, and all that. Um, I take the garlic, you know, cut up the garlic. I can't taste it, so it really don't matter. Um, so I just swallow the garlic as well. I do the ginger tea, fever grass tea. Um, we um, peel orange slices and put the onion, the ginger, the lemon, and all that, boil it in inhale the heat and that really helps so like when we do that it just clears everything out and then i drink it i try to drink it a couple of times so i drink it like i said it really don't taste no way because i can't taste it so i'm pretty sure it has a taste but i couldn't taste it so it just feels like i was drinking warm water which is fine i feel like that helped as well still can't taste or smell that's the like i just want my taste and smell back and i read that drinking a lot of water which which reminds me, I need to drink some water today. Drinking a lot of water helps with that. So that's what's gonna be my remedy until I get it back. I will let y'all know when things go back to normal. Y'all will probably see it in a vlog or a video. And I just wanna tell you guys, all my day ones, anybody who's watching this video, I know as much as you think you're being safe and you know, disinfected, like y'all, when I say every precautions I took, I don't play. Like, you know people go to the grocery store, right? want only a pair of gloves no since i had like four anything i touch i switch my gloves out I wipe everything down and it still got your sis so i don't know how i caught it lot y'all it's still a mystery like really don't know how we contracted it but it came and we just had to deal with it i don't wish it on anybody and i just want to say to any family anybody that lost someone to this virus my condolences go out to you and your loved ones um thank god that um you and my mom are still here still fighting still pushing through it um we feel so much better i feel way more better than my mom does but she's getting better um as well um, but I just want to say, guys, stay your ass in the house. Stay home, y'all. Please stay home. I never thought that I would be contracted. Like, you know, you never think it's going to happen to you until it does. And you're, like, humbled by it. So I just want to say, y'all, please stay safe. Um, well, keep washing your hands. Keep following everything that they're putting out in the media to, you know, reduce this. Please stay home as much as you can. I think that will help us a lot so we can get back to our regular scheduled programming. Because let me tell you, this is killing me being locked up in a house and everything. But we have to do what we have to do so that hopefully soon we can get back to normal. Just know I am up and running again. I will be posting videos. I mean, I can't really go nowhere. I'm definitely self-quarantined now. Like, I'm definitely in the house, not going anywhere. So, expect more footage, y'all. And I do want to apologize for not posting on Monday. I know y'all going to say, girl, bye. Like, you were sick, but I still want to be so consistent. I'm proving to y'all that, listen, we're trying to get to 10K. So, I'm trying to prove to y'all that I want it. If you enjoy this, well, 
there's nothing to enjoy about the video i was so i'm so used to saying that but you know still hit the thumbs up button even though you know still hit the thumbs up button comment down below i just want to say in advance thank you to everybody that's gonna love send your love this way um thank you i really do appreciate y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video not a love song, not another love song. Not a love song, not another love song. Not a love song, not another love song. Ran up the check, no safety on what you get. You know I'm Saint Nick.